Sitting in this room or lying on the bed, you feel that the earth in which we live is constantly rotating. I know this is not something that can be felt, but is it not surprising that the speed of the rotation, which we are not even able to feel, is about 1,670 kilometers per hour. And not only this, you will be more surprised to know that the Earth is rotating on its axis like this, without stopping for 4.6 billion years. We have been taught about the rotation of the Earth since childhood, but have you ever tried to know why? Why does the Earth rotate? And even if it is rotating, why doesn't it stop like all moving things? What is it that keeps the Earth rotating in space? First of all, why Earth rotates? So to know we have to look back in time to when the Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago. So why did the Earth start spinning in the first place? The Sun and the Solar System formed when a cloud of dust and gas collapsed due to its own weight. Most of the gas condensed to become the Sun, while the remaining material went into the surrounding planet-forming disk. Before it collapsed, the gas molecules and dust particles were moving all over the place, but at a certain point, some gas and dust happened to shift a bit more in one particular direction, setting its spin in motion. When the gas cloud then collapsed, the cloud's rotation sped up, just as figure skaters spin faster when they tuck their arms and legs in. Now we know what made the Earth start spinning and what made it pick up speed. But why does it keep spinning? What is it that keeps the Earth rotating in space? For this, it is important to know that a spinning object will just keep spinning forever unless someone add energy or take it away. Imagine a spinning top. You added energy to it by starting the spin off with your hand. Eventually it stops because the ground it is spinning on is taking energy away from the toy top through something called friction. Friction is where something rubs on or drags on an object and takes energy away. Just like we slowed ourselves down while riding downhill by dragging our foot on the ground, that's friction. Even the air around us can cause friction. The Earth floating in space. It will keep spinning unless something slows it down. It would take a lot of energy to slow down the spinning Earth because it is so big. It's not spinning on the ground means no friction and also no air outside our own atmosphere to slow it down either. Because there isn't much in space to slow things down, once something starts rotating, it usually keeps going. The rotating baby solar system in this case had lots of what's called angular momentum, a quantity that describes the object's tendency to keep spinning. As a result, most of the planets likely spun in the same direction when the solar system formed. However, Earth's rotation is affected by the tidal pull of the Moon. Because of the Moon, the spin of the Earth is slowing down at a rate of about one millisecond per year. The Earth spun around at a faster clip in the past, enough so that during the time of the dinosaurs a day was about 22 hours long. In addition to slowing the Earth's rotation, the Moon's tidal pull is causing the Moon to slowly recede from the Earth at a rate of about one millimeter per year. In this and past, the Moon was closer. It would have appeared much larger in our sky than it does now. So now we know why does Earth rotates and what is it that keeps the Earth rotating in space. If you think this video is informative, do like this video and subscribe our channel. May science bless you.